might watch movies for reprieve from the stresses of everyday life. A window into another world for a brief moment that allows you to bask in simple cinematic joys, like the wonders of space travel, or the unreachable realms at the bottom of the ocean, or even just the uh, sordid joys of being in love. Huh, you know what I mean, oi oi. But that escapism always comes with a price. Did you know, for example, that you can asphyxiate in space in about 90 seconds if you manage to avoid exploding your lungs or boiling your own eyes out? Or that the Mariana Trench goes down as far as Everest goes up and would crush you into a tiny, shriveled piece of potpourri instantaneously should you find yourself at the bottom of it? Or even that at least 11,000 people suddenly die in the throes of impassioned boinking a year? Did you? Even the most placid of movies are riddled with tension should you think about them too hard, and that's without even considering the ones that are really designed to get your heart racing. What I'm saying is, welcome to hell, people with a nervous disposition. I am the pretty stressed Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 most anxiety-inducing movie scenes ever. 10. Prometheus – Alien C-Section if there's one thing most people can safely say they'd never want, it's to be impregnated by a violent alien species that will tear you apart from the inside out. I mean, I'm not speaking for those folk that get their rocks off to ovipositor egg-laying sex toys that appear exclusively on Wish adverts and Vice articles, but I'm not here to kink shame either. But that is exactly what happens to poor Elizabeth Shaw during the run of Prometheus. Previously infertile, but suddenly finding herself in the advanced stages of pregnancy, ooh, Shaw realizes something inhuman has made its home inside her, and she needs to get it out quickly. Repurposing an automated surgical machine to perform an emergency C-section on her, it is a nail-biting sequence from start to finish as to whether she will survive the surgery or get torn apart by some big old horrible squid baby freaking out next to her exposed organs. Ick! Yes, Alien could have very easily gone here as a superior movie, but let's give its lesser loved child a bit of appreciation too, hey? This scene is really good, even if you don't like Prometheus. It's a very good scene. It's a very stressful scene, so it's on the list. 9. City of God – Gang Initiation Children and guns are a combination that do not mix, but City of God happily puts the two hand in hand for most of its chunky two hour runtime. And it's in one short and snappy scene this becomes all too real. Lil Zay, ruler of a drug empire in the impoverished favelas, is mad with power and has a worrying penchant for violence, which he takes out on a gang of children. Trapping two as the rest scatter, he forces them to choose whether they'd like their hands or feet shot, before putting a bullet in the opposite limb they request. He then brings over Stake, another young boy, who he has to shoot one of the children in front of him. Forced to comply, as a knowledge of what happens to those that don't do what Little Zay says hangs unspoken and thick in the air, the film rests for just a beat to make an audience think Stake won't do it, until a gunshot rings out and a child slumps over. It's a different kind of anxiety that entwines itself around discomfort, incredibly carried by one terrified kid that plays into real-world horrors to make something expertly vicious. Ugh. 8. Blair Witch – Crawl Space I still stand by it. The 2016 Blair Witch is a solid piece of cinema that masterfully seeds tension before an explosive finale, and would have been praised time and again if it were under another title. And just to prove that point, the crawl space scene under the dilapidated house is one of the most stressful pieces of found footage filmmaking you can get. Forced to flee from a long-limbed, pale monstrosity intent on hunting her down, Lisa is pushed into a tunnel that is not quite big enough for her to squeeze through. Cue long, unbearable minutes of her pulling herself through a dirty, wet hole, eh? Whilst panicking and hearing a monster in pursuit behind her that will do much worse than kill her should it catch up. That Lisa gets stuck just adds to how overwhelming this whole thing gets. It makes you pray for the whole thing to just be over, much like the descent scene that it feels inspired by. 7. Uncut Gems – The Big Bet Uncut Gems is just one big long anxiety attack wrapped up in Adam Sandler's terrible fashion sense. Depicting a jeweler that has gotten himself in a mess with money, his decision making is clouded by the need to get just one big win. He buys a big opal, he intends to sell for six figures, places bets across the city, and constantly pawns and repurchases items that do not belong to him to get ahead of his cash. But each attempt fails miserably as Howard clutches at straws. This all culminates in loan sharks coming to collect on Howard's debt at his store, rushing his mistress away with the only cash he has to his name from finally selling the opal for a fraction of his predicted price 
Howard accidentally traps the debt collectors in between the glass security doors. Putting on the game he intends to bet on, the men sit and begrudgingly watch. The whole experience a sweaty, heart-pounding mess as Howard's life lies in the balance of a single basketball game. In the end, it doesn't matter, with any catharsis born from actually winning, quite literally, shot in the head. 6. Underwater – Kelp Field Underwater is a movie that will hurt your chest from start to finish with its pitch black waters and depictions of horrific, brutal deaths that can happen on the flip of a coin. But I'm going to get into spoiler territory here, so if you haven't seen the film yet, then give it a go before you ruin it for yourself because it's really good. It's really good. And it's only just come out in cinemas, so I'm giving you the spoiler warning here. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm getting into the spoilers now. So near the end, mechanical engineer Nora, who is stranded on the ocean floor that she's traversed to escape the destroyed oil rig she used to work on, is faced with what looks like a bed of kelp on the ceiling of a walkway entrance between her and the escape pods to the surface. But guys, it's not kelp. It's actually a new species of monstrous creature with their arms waving in the current overhead. One wrong move will see them wake up and devour her, resulting in a scene that will have you holding your breath until it hurts as she attempts to navigate the slippery limbs. Of course, it doesn't go well when she is consumed by one horrible being before breaking out with a bolt gun, only to find that something much bigger and infinitely cosmically terrifying lies in wait, which is even more horrible. It's a masterwork that will have your heart in your mouth before dropping it into the pit of your stomach. I had a great time with this movie. I didn't like it though, I was very stressed, so here it is. 5. Nocturnal Animals – Get In My Car Nocturnal Animals' power to stress out its audience is second to none, with a story within a story serving as a devastating examination of one man's struggle with grief, redemption and vengeance. Edward has written a novel that he shares with his ex-wife telling the story of Tony, a man on a 14-hour road trip through Texas with his wife and daughter, and the family hit a patch with no phone signal. Right about the time a gang of troublemakers harasses them off the road and out of their now damaged car. Tony's non-confrontational nature seems to be the only thing saving him as the men outnumber him and could easily overpower the family should he piss them off. But it's not long until keeping his cool works against him, and he loses all grip on the situation in a slippery slope that results in his wife and daughter being abducted. A glimmer of desperate hope flickers that they might yet come out unharmed as Tony escapes on his own, but it is one that is quickly snuffed out. Ugh. 4. Whiplash – Caravan there's nothing quite like J.K. Simmons screeching through a screen at you to really make you sit up straight. The second-hand anxiety of Whiplash sits like a thick fog over the film, with audiences forced to endure prodigious drummer Andrew's abuse at the hands of his aggressive conductor, Terence Fletcher. Now, there are plenty of scenes that would make the cut for this list, but the one that stands out from the rest, just a hair, comes at the crux of Andrew's performing career. Taking a bus to a competition, the vehicle breaks down, putting Andrew into the danger zone for Fletcher's ire for being late. Getting himself to a rental car company and arriving flustered, he then realises he forgot his drumsticks. Oh! Oh no! How are we going to play the drums with no drumsticks, Andrew? Racing back to the office and then swinging back in his car, Andrew is then broadsided and left severely injured, but won't give in to his mission to get to the competition. What follows will have you watching through your fingers, despite this being one of the least high-stakes moments on this list. It's not life or death, but it damn sure feels like it. 3. Argo – Canadian Caper Ben Affleck's movie is a depiction of the Canadian Caper, a true rescue mission led by Tony Mendez to extract six US diplomats from Tehran during the Iran hostage crisis in 1979-1981. to The innovative way Mendez managed to get his people out is what wrote it into the history books though, as the whole operation was done under the guise of filming a sci-fi movie in the country covered by the American diplomats posing as Canadians. The white-knuckle moment at the film's climax doesn't care for history, though, and will have you on the edge of your seat no matter how informed you arrive, with the team of diplomats forced to carry out their plan to leave the country even as the CIA tells them their support has been cut. Hunted by guards, scrutinised by security, and their sources pulled at every opportunity, something as simple as a phone call and sitting in a plane seat has never felt so long. 2. The Killing of a Sacred Deer – Shotgun Roulette even if you know this is coming by the end of The Killing of a Sacred Deer, watching it unfold brings about that sick, ice-crunching terror that is born from incredibly well-executed tension. 
The film sees a strange young boy, Martin, with a connection to Surgeon Stephen that is slowly revealed throughout the film's runtime. An eye for an eye is the central premise of this appearance, forcing Stephen to make choices that no family member would ever want to make in their life. Martin wants Stephen to choose one of his family to die as penance for his own father's death under Stephen's surgical care. Stephen, in one of the most bizarre but horrifyingly sympathetic choices he could make, then decides the fairest way to deal with this is to blindfold himself and spin around with a shotgun until fate decides for him. Grim. Watching him flail frantically with a hat over his face has that kind of strange, maniacal horror to it that is hard to accurately describe. It's just not a scene you'd want to ever choose to endure again. 1. Zodiac Basement a taut mystery wrapped up with a true story bow, Zodiac dissects the real case of the Zodiac serial killer in the 60s and 70s. Jake Gyllenhaal plays cartoonist Robert Graysmith, who becomes obsessed with the Zodiac case covered by his newspaper. His search for the truth goes hot and cold intermittently, until one chance lead appears in Bob Vaughn, who could point him straight to the killer. Graysmith has posters he believes to be drawn by the Zodiac. Upon questioning Vaughn in his home, it becomes apparent that his suspect did not pen them, but Vaughn himself did, and he wants to take Graysmith into his basement to prove it. It's here where everything starts to feel distorted and wrong, with the Californian basement both a rarity and an association of the Zodiac, and then creaking throughout the house indicating that the pair are not alone in there. Graysmith desperately tries to act cordial to keep everything seeming normal, which makes for the most nail-biting, creepy experience you'll get in cinema without anything actually happening. And that's our list. What other movie moments deserve a mention? I can think of The Thing for one, so share your thoughts in the comment section below and perhaps we can do another collection. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and come back again soon for some more content that will take your breath away. Thanks for watching.